Hi everyone, welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. I am Nicole. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital LOVE Tribe. Thank you all so much for all of your love, support, liking the video, sharing the videos, subscribing, commenting. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you being here. This is healing for you. It's healing for me. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude for each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Okay, so today's pick a card, we're going to talk about what are the fears and obstacles within this connection. So whatever comes out, I'm just going to go with it. Any fears and obstacles blocking your love connection or, you know, creating tension or friction within your connection. So we have pile one, a personal issue reaches resolution. Pile two, balance, spirituality, and practicality. And pile three, bring love into the situation. Timestamps will be linked below. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, that information is linked below as well. Thank you so much, and I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital LOVE Tribe. Thank you all for all of your love and support. I am so grateful for you. I love you. Thank you for being here. My name is Nicole. Let's get into it. So fears and obstacles within this relationship. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So you could be a Cancer. Or this person could be a Cancer. or um, Fourth house energy is prominent here. For me, fourth house is also like family and um, the mother energy nurturing. So you and this person, part of the obstacle that I'm picking up is a feminine wound here or the wounded feminine energy. You and this person learning how to receive love, give and receive love in balance and how to nurture yourselves in order to nurture each other. So that was definitely an obstacle here. You and this person learning how to nurture yourselves or still learning how to nurture yourselves and love yourselves so you can nurture and love each other in a healthy way within this connection. Um, with this, a personal issue reaches resolution. This is saying that something is coming to a culmination here, because especially with the full moon energy. That's something... That's an ending. It could be an ending to a new beginning. It could also be just a culmination. There's something that's just been brewing and movement and movement and movement. And now it's going to come to a conclusion or a resolution. Okay, so let's find out some more. What else? What are some fears and obstacles here? Emotional freedom manifestation serendipity worthiness okay so fears and obstacles here with the serendipity here this is definitely telling me that this is a serendipitous connection so this is a divinely guided situation so it's like um you and this person were put in each other's lives for a reason. You may resonate as being a soulmate or a twin flame. I don't know what you resonate with, but this person, this is a, a connection that's meant to be, okay? This is a connection that's meant to teach you a lot of different lessons. This is a connection that's meant to be in your life. This is fated. This is destined, okay? So it's a situation that even if this ends with this person, that this person was meant to be in your life for that amount of time for a reason or you know whatever however long this person is in your life is meant to be this was definitely faded but some fears here so you and this person have a fear of again it's like this with this worthiness here this is saying how she's looking in the reflection in the pond and she sees her reflection this is a fear or obstacle here is self-love, 
okay? There's a deficit of self-love. You and this person, I feel like, have to learn how to really love and accept yourselves in order to love and accept each other. And I just saw 333. So that, again, it's like that empress energy, that creativity, that manifestation energy. And we're going to get to that in a second. But that's been a huge block here, okay? That's been a blockage within this connection. The more you love yourself, the more your person loves themselves, that brings that love and acceptance in. You nurture yourselves so you can love and accept the other person and nurture the other person and learn how to give and receive love in a balanced situation. You both want emotional freedom. You both want this freedom within yourselves, freedom within this connection, to be, you know, have that emotional freedom where you can love without any bounds. That's what I just heard. But it's a situation that you both are trying to manifest this or you wanted to manifest this. But some of you, I, I am getting the energy of like, this is a breakup or a separation or something. So you both want to manifest this, but it's the energy of how. You see here, it's like a unicorn. It's like, this doesn't happen for people like us. This doesn't happen for... Um, people that you know we know or we grew up with or we saw like I'm just getting this energy of like you and this person not having any kind of like relationships that was like a role model or something that you can aspire to be or something that you saw growing up that it was like wow that's true love I feel like you and this person have never seen that and it's like something that you both want you both have wanted this even before you met each other. You both wanted that love of a lifetime, true love, you know, the love that stands the test of time, the magic of it all. You both wanted that separately even before you met. And then now you meet and you don't either you don't know how to maintain this or it just became too much. Okay. That's what I'm definitely feeling here. And it's like that's been a huge blockage of it's an idealization, okay? You both have idealized each other and idealized other situations or relationships or what you think a relationship should look like because you, maybe you haven't seen it or you know, you're know you going off of what you saw on TV or whatever. And it's created that confusion of like, when real life things happen, what do you do next? You know, what do you do? Okay. And so, yeah, definitely feeling that. Okay. Let's get some more cards. I usually do the tarot first, but I wanted to do oracles first. Let's get a couple of tarot. Okay. Six of wands. I'm only going to do upright. The sun. Eight of Wands, Four of Cups. Let's get a couple more. I'm definitely getting this energy though. Like you, you both manifest each other. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. So blockages in this connection. It's definitely again, it's a wounded feminine energy here. You both have issues with receiving love. I feel like um, you don't have issues with giving love. You both have you both have wounded energy within masculine and feminine energy, but the feminine is sticking out more mm. because it's like the ability to be able to receive. I feel like you both got overwhelmed. You both manifested each other. It doesn't matter how this relationship has been going, how this connection is destined and is faded, but it's a situation where you both manifested each other. You both were calling out to have a connection, have an amazing person, have someone with these amazing qualities. And the idealization of it has caused some confusion because I feel that you both have idealized each other. You both have come to this place where No one, it's like the reality of you two, it's, I don't want to say you don't want to face it, but it's almost like 
Maybe someone is more comfortable living with the idealization or something to that effect. There's also an issue here of like public persona or public public platform or like a relationship in the public. Some of you, um, your relationship could be known on like social media or as a public platform energy here or like in your community or something like that. That has caused some fears and blockages within this um, within this connection. For some of you, there's a fear of someone almost like I'm not getting a fear of like someone outshining someone, but it's almost like a fear of if the more popularity that's gained or if someone has more popularity, is someone going to feel left out or out in the cold or is something to that effect too? Or like it could also be just like, if it's not a public situation, it could be a situation where within the career, gaining momentum in the career, gaining like more progress, more money and things like that, is someone going to feel left out or insecure or something like that? And it's going back to, again, the love and acceptance of each other separately in order to be able to love and accept yourselves within this connection. There's also this energy of ghosting, ch running and chasing, someone running away from love, another person chasing after the other person. It gets to be too hot and heavy, then it's like it's too much, let's back off. It's also this energy of like feeling burdened, feeling weighed down, feeling like, okay, this connection it's too much or it's too much going on here or things are not clear. I'm hearing the truth is not clear. How do you really feel? What is really going on? Okay, let's get some more messages. Okay, we have balance, honesty, patience, gratitude, and abundance. So this connection can be very, like we see here, limitless, limitless, abundant, amazing. I'm hearing, you know, literally the sky is it's like you and this person could do anything together. You could be anything. This could be so amazing. Just a very abundant connection. But part of the fear and blockage here is honesty, being honest with each other. I feel like you and this person have a difficult time being honest with each other. And I feel like the reason why you and this person have a difficult time being honest with each other is because you both are afraid of what the other person is going to think. And that's kind of going back to this idealization energy, not wanting to let someone down, or you know, it could be a situation where someone was put on a pedestal or you both put each other on a pedestal. And again, this idealization of I don't want to let you down or you're not going to like what I have to say or you're going to, you know, be upset. It's kind of like that energy. So there's the, it's honesty is a huge blockage here. You and this person, I feel like both of you have not been honest to each other to a certain degree. You know, one person could have been more honest than the other or maybe both of you just have not been very honest with each other. There needs to be some type of balance here. The balance, I feel like, again, it's like an imbalance of how you give and receive love. And it could be one person has been giving too much and the other person has, hasn't given that much at all or someone is receiving too much. It's like an imbalance here of giving and receiving love. So that needs, that's an obstacle within this connection. This connection requires patience and it's, everything is happening in divine timing. So it's like this connection forces you to have that gratitude, being grateful for the lessons, being grateful for the moments, for the time together, being grateful for everything that's being shown to you because this is again a divine connection and it's divinely guided. So it takes that patience, but a huge obstacle is the truth and honesty here. 
and taking each other off of a pedestal and also recognizing that if you and this person stay together or not, this is still abundance because meeting each other, connecting, this has created that activation, that awakening to bring you to a better place, a higher vibration. Let's find out more. Your commitment is being tested. Your dreams need a practical plan. Take time to breathe out. You're very close to achieving your goal. So I feel like for many of you, this is not going to be for all, but there is a separation energy here or break up energy. So this is saying that for many of you, you know, this connection, part of the obstacles are that this connection tests your commitment. It tests your faith. It tests like a lot of different parts of you. It awakens you. It teaches you. And it, it helps you in many ways in your life, but it also tests a lot of parts of you. It tests your level of faith. It tests your, like, you know, what do you believe? What do you know to be true? It tests your intuition. It tests a lot of different parts of you. And for many of you, this is, again, it's some type of culmination situation happening here. It's because with this, you're very close to achieving your goal and another full moon energy there's something here that's coming to a head. There's something here that's closing out, whether it's a cycle with this person or whether it's you and this person having union or coming together, there's something here. But part of the obstacle, another obstacle is your dreams need a practical plan. So this is saying that idealization, that, you know, kind of like not being grounded with this connection. This connection... For some of you, this connection could be ungrounded, meaning it has not really, it's just happening in the other dimensions and the 5D and all this other stuff, but it's not happening in your physical reality. And so this is saying, if you want this to happen, it needs a practical plan. That means it needs to get grounded. You know, there needs to be some conversations. There needs to be the truth that needs to be revealed a conversation needs to be had. People have to come forward and say what they mean and say what they feel. So that could also be part of the fear, the fear of being honest. I feel there's a huge fear of being honest here. And that's a huge, it's a huge blockage. It's a huge obstacle here. And it's testing the commitment and it's testing the level of faith. And for some of you, I feel again, with this time, take time to breathe out. I just feel like you and this person, it got too hot and heavy or it just became too much or it was just too much going on that you need to take a break. And it just, it felt like it wasn't going to work or it feels like it can't work. And that's part of the fear too. I feel like maybe both of you are telling yourselves, I don't know if this could work. I don't know if I could do this. And that's part of the test. That's part of the testing of your commitment. Okay, let's find out some more. Immaturity soulmate, silver fox, teacher. Okay. It's funny because I think this wanted to come out in reverse and the reversal says idealization, fantasy, bound. I feel like this is what's happening here for some of you. There's just been, there's a huge issue with idealization. And so that's just like fantasizing about this person all the time, fantasizing what they like, what they'll be like, fantasizing about how it would be to spend the day with them, how it would be to take a vacation with them, doing all these things in your thoughts and your dreams, but not making anything happen in the physical reality, not talking to this person at all. This person doesn't know how you really feel. This person's playing a guessing game. You both are playing the guessing game. So that's, again, that's a huge obstacle here. But you and this person are connected at the soul. This is a soulmate or twin flame energy type. You know, don't get caught in the labels, but it's a very spiritual connection, okay? And 
But I do see here with this immaturity here in the silver fox, this is saying that the immaturity is like the immature energy, the childish defensive energy. And then the, now we have maturity here with the silver fox experience. This connection, again, it's about growth. You both are growing, whether you realize this or not. And I feel like this connection has grown both of you. And you both had to take time to grow within this connection. But there is this energy here, or it was, of foolishness and defensiveness on both sides, I feel, and childish behavior, immature behavior. So this could be also part of like that honesty that hasn't been revealed that, you know, people don't want to talk about because that's face that's hold that's taking accountability. It's taking accountability accountability to say I was immature, I was foolish acting, things like that. But this connection Within this connection, I feel part of the obstacle or what felt like an obstacle, so many lessons coming at one time, so much to learn. I feel like both of you were overwhelmed with all of the lessons and all of the things that were coming up within this connection because I feel like this connection revealed all of the wounds, all of the shadow, all of the parts of yourself that you were not pleased with, you were not happy with. It revealed it for both of you. And it was so much being revealed at one time that it became very overwhelming, okay? Because again, it's here to teach you. It's here to teach you about yourself. So again, you can love, respect yourself, care for yourself in order for you to love and accept this person you're in a connection with. Because if you don't love yourself, there will be that codependent. Codependency can, you know, begin because you're searching for this other person to fill the void that's already within you because you haven't reached that level of self-love in order for it to be a balance. And so that's definitely what I feel that it just got to be a very overwhelming for both of you. And because it was so much. Okay. Let's get a couple messages here. Let's just see what comes out from your person or this connection as far as fears and obstacles. Let's just see what comes out. Okay. Sex, lies, and camera. In my feelings. You are a dream come true. Custody issues. My family and friends are jealous of us. Okay, let's get one more. I'll just take this one off the top. My ex knows I love you. And then, you know, I get jealous. Okay. So jealousy seems to be an issue here. Um, wait, hold on, guys. I'm being called to take this one, too. Okay. I saw you with someone else. So jealousy seems to be an issue here. Someone saw someone with someone else or someone started dating someone else or, you know, whatever resonates. But there's an energy here of jealousy or, you know, feeling triggered. Again, this is this connection triggering those wounds or triggering that energy to heal it. So it could be both of you to get jealous. It could be one of you to get jealous. But that's been an obstacle or fear as well. It could be also the fear of letting, you know, jealousy and rage and anger take over. Okay. Custody issues has been an issue. Both of you could have a child or children or you share a child or someone has a child and it's just been created. Custody issues or co-parenting drama has created some issues here as well. The friends and family, I think I think I mentioned that before, but I can't remember. But anyway, friends and family have pay, played a part within this connection. Um, they're saying the friends and family are jealous. So friends and family have, you know, created issues within this connection or they are an issue within, within this connection. I'm hearing that it's a lot of gossip or a lot of people talking or a lot of people not being in favor of this connection. You both feel like, again, you manifest each other. The qualities that each of you possess 
is the ideal qualities that both of you want in a partner. You both feel like you are a dream come true. You both have manifested this. And this is, again, divinely guided. Both of you getting your feelings about each other, okay? Both of you, um, I feel like both of you have an ex, or maybe it's one of you, I don't know, but I feel like this is both. Both of you are coming through saying that your ex knows that the ex knows that you're really in love with someone else, okay? But you take what resonates. And then sex lies on camera. So someone was caught on, there's either some type of sex tape or someone was caught on camera cheating or there's social media is playing a part here. It could be being on social media with different people or partying or something like that. Yeah, because my throat chakra is like locking up. Okay, so it's something like that. And again, it could be something that needs, could be some, um, you know, honesty that needs to be expressed with social media or, you know, some type of pictures or some type of tape or some video or something like that that hasn't been talked about as well. Okay, let's get your oracles out. Show the world the real you full moon in Aquarius. So it's a lot of full moon energy here. So it's a lot of like moving into ending something to move into a new cycle. Okay. So just keep that in mind. What do you need to release? So again, that's kind of like that full moon energy releasing and communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So you're releasing, it's time for you to release. You're being asked, what do you need to release? It's time to release something and end something so you could show the world the real you. You could be authentic. You could really live in your truth. Live in the truth, speak the truth, and live authentically. But again, so communication is key. Communicating, maybe you need to communicate with this person or you need to communicate with someone else. But communication is key right now for you to be authentic, speak the truth, live in the truth. And it's asking you, what else do you need to release? Maybe you need to release fear, self-limiting beliefs or self-doubt or the energy of not the shame or regret or anything you're holding on to. Really ask yourself what you need to release because many of you are closing something out. It's a cycle closing out here. Acceptance. Discipline, relationships, wow. So it could be this person that you need to communicate with because communication is key is right here and then relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So you're being asked to accept yourself even more. Accept yourself even more. So the more you accept yourself, the more the world will accept you. As long as you love and accept yourself and live in your truth and love the truth, love who you really are in your truth, the more you love and accept that, the world will accept it. You don't have to worry about what people will think and what they will say. They will accept it because you love and accept yourself. Remain disciplined. Be disciplined in the things that you need to release and the changes that you are making and the things that you are letting go. Make sure you're communicating your what you need communicating with love and communicating to those people who you are guided to have some type of conversations with or you know that you're still attracting that you're surrounding yourself with people who are of your highest good okay not people who are low vibrational or energy vampires people who will lift you up light you up help you stay in a high vibration not bring your vibration down. So I really hope this helps Pal one. Thank you so much for being here. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. I'm sending you so much love. You got this. Let go and release anything that no longer serves you. And you got this. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Join the Capital LOVE tribe. Share the video. Comment below. Let me know how this resonated. If you don't want to say how this resonated, just drop me a heart and I would appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Hi, Pal 2. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital LLVE Tribe. 
Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I'm so grateful for all of you. I am Nicole. Let's get going. So, full moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay, fears and obstacles in this connection. With this full moon energy here, um, this is saying something's coming to either a close or a release or something is ending. It could be a cycle with this person. It's interesting here how you see here is the, the two fish here. So you and this person are marrying each other. That's for sure. But it's also with like a fear and an obstacle with this balanced spirituality and practicality. For some of you, this connection may not have been grounded yet. It's been happening in the other dimensions in the 5D, but it hasn't happened in the physical reality yet. And there needs to be a balance between what's happening in those other dimensions and what is happening and making something happen here, grounding the connection, not constantly dreaming and thinking about this person, but not talking to this person in physical reality or um, connecting with this person in the physical reality. But let's find out some more. What are the fears and obstacles within this connection? How to? Four of Wands. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands. And let's get one more. And Nine of Wands. Okay, so this connection, some of the fears here. Either you, if some of you, you could have been married to this person, um, not for everyone, but some of you could have been married, the empress at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could have been married or you have a child with this person. But for some of you, if you are not married to this person or you haven't had a commitment with this person, you want to have a commitment with this person, um, I'm feeling like there's this energy, the fear is being committed to this person. I don't feel like it's a fear of being in a relationship or with, like it's not the person. The fear is commitment. The fear is being in a relationship. The fear is being accountable for um, someone else's well-being, someone else's feelings, not being able to maneuver the single, like not being able to be single anymore, or not being able to just do what you want to do, get up and do, um, move about the way you were moving about before, or, you know, being single, okay? Being accountable now, that's like a fear. It's a fear of being accountable with someone else and that commitment. And I feel like it's not really like, I feel like you and this person probably it's a merry energy. So you both, if you haven't gone through it at the same time, at some point you both have gone through it. Okay. It may not have been at the same exact time, but this is something that you both have had issues with or feel like you didn't want to be in a commitment. I don't feel like it's the person. Like I feel like both of you would love to be with each other. And I think both of you see that the connection has the potential to be something amazing. Now, this is, if you're broken up from this person, we're going to get some more of that in a second. But for some of you, you see the potential of this connection. But I feel like a lot of things are in your head. I feel like what you think, like you may have been telling yourself that this person won't accept certain things or this person won't want you to do this so this person wants to have you locked down and have you be like this and have you be like that and I feel like some of these things are in your head because this connection is not grounded for some of you some of these fears are in your mind based off of past experiences or based off of like self-limiting beliefs or subconscious situations like programming things like that. It's like things that you're telling yourself that are not necessarily true. Because Eight of Swords for me is always like that, especially with the Seven of Swords next to it. It, it can feel like there's like an illusion energy here. It's a lot of illusions. 
And it could be because, again, this is not grounded. This is ungrounded. But it also could be because you and this person have not clearly communicated or there's been a communication issue. There's been blockages in communication here. And the communication has not been as forthright and honest as it should be to really understand where both of you are coming from or what both of you want and both of you would want. Okay, it's like communication issues are a blockage and there's like a fear of being clear or fear of being honest or fear of like hurting someone's feelings or fear of like, what will you think of me if I say this? Or a fear of like, can I really be honest with you? Can I trust you? And there's also this energy of afraid of being hurt or afraid of being betrayed or afraid of like being stabbed in the back. All right, let's get some more out. It's like, it's illusions, but it's like a lot of fears. But some of these fears are not, it's because this connection is not grounded. It's because, you know, you don't really know. You don't really know the truth. Both of you don't. Luminosity. Reparenting yourself. Maturity. The divine feminine. The distorted feminine. Okay. So this connection, part of the issues here, this connection is about maturing. So this connection takes maturity. Both of you had to mature. That's been a blockage. You both had to mature spiritually and emotionally. You both had to, the, the truth had to be illuminated. I feel the truth has been illuminated and it's, it's illuminated the sides of you, the shadow, the the shadow parts of yourself and like the trauma and the wounds from childhood and things like that. And it's illuminated so much where you've had to heal these things in order to bring balance within yourself. And so this connection forces you to mature. So the part of the blockage or part of the issue in the past, or it may still be an issue, maturity. You both had to mature spiritually and emotionally to be able to handle this connection. This connection feels like a higher vibrational connection, like a spiritual connection. So it's like if you are not, you know, if you're not doing things like shadow work or you're not able to really look at yourself, hold yourself accountable, if you're not able to really face your own truth, find your truth, like this connection pushes you to have that self-awareness, to have that accountability, to reparent yourself. You both have to nurture and reparent yourself. You both have to give yourselves that self-love, self-care, self-nurturance in order to be in a connection like this. Because this connection, if you don't do those things, it's not going to be able to align. And that could be why this connection feels ungrounded for some of you because that work has to be done in order for this connection to come together. Because this is the kind of connection where if you don't do that inner work, when this person triggers you or does something to trigger that wound, it can be very impactful on the connection. It can make things completely blow up. It can make things, it can be disastrous. And for some of you, I'm hearing that You've been experiencing in the other, you know, like in the 5D or whatever you and this person have had, because there's a telepathic energy here, especially with the full moon in Pisces, there's a telepathic energy. So you and this person may have blown up on each other, had arguments telepathically, you know, have gotten into it in the dream space. That's not for everyone, but that's for someone. This connection, part of the blockage is the distorted feminine energy. Now, regardless if you are the masculine or the feminine watching, we have both energies within us, okay? So you both have shown distorted feminine energy. And that means 
not being able to receive love, not being able to receive love in a healthy way. It could have been codependent issues here, codependent addiction issues or feeling codependent on each other. I'm also getting manipulation. You both may have manipulated each other or tried to manipulate each other. You both, I feel, have rejected each other's love or been in a runner chaser type dynamic. Um, I feel like these energies switch off. Again, I feel like you both go through different situations. You just may not go through it at the same time. So you both have experienced this. And this is about bringing those distorted shadow aspects to the light. Everything's being illuminated within this connection. Those, you know, shadow aspects, that dark side, it's being illuminated to be healed the trauma, the wounds, all of it is being illuminated to be healed. So you both can bring that feminine energy into balance, okay? Because if you balance your feminine energy, you balance out your masculine energy as well. It would be a balance. And I feel that this is what this connection, that's been part of the blockage here. And this connection highlights that as well. And that's why you have to reparent yourself. Okay, let's get some more. Surrender self-esteem, forgiveness, courage. Okay, so this connection, part of the blockage has been self-esteem. Both of you needed to grow your level of self-esteem, self-confidence, how you see yourself, how you accept yourself, how you love yourself. You both had to release control issues, or you both need to release control issues. Control issues is the issue here because it says here, surrender. I can release my need to control. So you both have had control issues, and that's been a part of the issue within this connection. And that control is rooted from that unhealed, that unhealed trauma and the need to control the situation in order for you to feel like you're safe or this person to feel like they're safe or to, to have control over all outcomes to feel like, again, it's rooted out of safety. It's rooted out of the need to control because you don't feel safe. So that's been part of the issue here. This connection with this courage, this is going back to that inner confidence that um, growing within your self-esteem, both you and this person, part of the blockage here or the obstacle with the self-esteem, self-esteem within it yourselves and, you know, having that bravery, having that courage, having that courage to live your life in a truthful, honest way, being authentic, being authentic with yourself, being able to be vulnerable. I'm feeling you and this person have had issues with being vulnerable. Maybe you've never been vulnerable with each other. Maybe it's been happening in other dimensions, but you haven't been able to be vulnerable with each other. Part of the issue also is forgiveness. So there's things that's happened. And let me say this, even if things are happening, like you and this person have not grounded this connection, but the things have happened in the other dimensions, whatever's happening in your physical reality, like you both know you have some type of knowledge on what each other are up to, or you think you know, or you see things on social media, things like that. So there needs to be some forgiveness. Maybe someone, you know, I don't know. It, it, you know, these situations are just going to vary, but there needs, you and your person have to forgive each other if this applies, okay? If something has happened, a betrayal, because I am feeling betrayal energy or some feeling, you know, saddened by something, whatever the situation is, forgiveness is going to be key. But it's also like forgiveness of yourselves as well. Forgiving yourself for like, you know, past pain and, you know, past like decisions where you feel like you were not your best self or you could have done things differently, forgiving yourself of that energy. All right. You and your loved ones are safe. Work through your fears. The answers you need are coming and a new romantic cycle begins. So there's a lot of, there were a lot of fears here. There were a lot of fears here. There was a lot of like that the fears with the confidence and the sense of self-worth. And, you know, because when 
when those issues come up where you don't feel confident and you feel like you have a low sense of self-worth, you have a difficult time receiving love. And that's when things can turn manipulative, like you have to manipulate situations or you feel like you have to be in control. So there were a lot of fears here. There were a lot of obstacles here. Um, there could still be, these things could still be happening, but I do feel like you and this person are both working on yourselves. You're working on yourselves because I do feel like you both, whether it's with each other or someone else, you both want a new romantic cycle, something, a new cycle of groundedness, of having romance, true romance, and a deep connection in the physical reality. For some of you, this is this is going to be you and this person very soon. But, and I do feel like with this answers you need are coming, this means the answers are coming. The answers are coming to help move this connection forward. But I feel like a lot of it was like a lot of like pain and trauma from the past, but just like a lot of fears, feeling not good enough, feeling like you're too, like this person's too good for you, or you're not good enough for this person, or this person will leave you, or this, you know, it's like a lot of that, a lot of that energy. Let's get some more. I feel like um, some of it, though, is like, because of past experiences, feeling like this person is going to be like everyone else, or feeling like this person is going to do the same thing to you that you've experienced in the past. Okay, third eye, hot sauce. I do everything in social media. Okay, so social media could definitely be a factor here. I feel like I said that, but I don't know. I can't remember right now. But social media is a factor here. And from what I'm hearing for some of you, it, it could be, again, it's like you and this person are connecting telepathically. You're connecting. You and this, it's definitely a lot of telepathy here, okay, because we have the third eye. So you and this person are seeing each other through your third eye. You're connecting with each other telepathically. You hear each other. You feel each other, okay? So if you're connecting in that way and then in this physical reality, you see this person on a date with someone else or you see this person posting on social media that they're with someone else, this has created tension. This has created that, you know, that tension or feeling like what is going on or feeling like, you know, is this real? Is this a lie? what's really happening here. It doesn't feel real if this is the type of things that you're doing. There's been an unequal give and take situation here. Okay. So someone has been giving a lot and someone has been taking a lot and not giving in return, or it's just been imbalance, it's an imbalance here. It could also be, like I said, for some of you, you could be arguing with this person in the other dimensions or it could be in the physical reality. You take what resonates. But for some of you, there is this energy of one person doing the work or one person doing the work and one person not doing as much work or just this unequal give and take or it's a level of disrespect here, feeling like this person has disrespected you or telepathically told you one thing and done something else in the physical realm. I am getting that as well. Okay, for some of you, again, social media has something, it's playing a role here. So I feel like both of you are either watching each other on social media or you're keeping track of what's going on with each other on social media and you're trying to see what's going on in each other's lives so you can see what's up and you can see what this person is doing. Um, and so social media has been a factor. It's been an issue. Not only has it been like you're able to see it, but it's just it's caused some type of issues within this connection. And I feel like it's what you see each other doing on social media and it makes you feel a way or your person has felt a way and had a lot of different questions. And it's just like a lot of fears that are happening that these fears are from past experiences that are being projected onto this connection. Okay, so let's get some more messages. Let's see what else. What else are the fears and blockages?
Okay, so we have here family drama, secrets, custody issues, blackmail and betrayal, saved pics and messages. My friends think you're sexy. Secret relationship. It's my fault. I apologize. And what are you up to? So this is what I was saying. With this, what are you up to? I feel like you both are going on social media to look at each other, to see what's happening, to try to get, you know, an idea of what's happening in each other's lives. And this is what it's like balance out the spirituality and practicality. You know, you could simply contact each other. It doesn't, sometimes I think that we make things a lot as humans. Sometimes I feel like we make things a lot harder than what it has to be. And of course, sometimes you think, it's like when you start to think about all these things, this is when your mind tells you no, this is where the fears come up. But if you just follow your heart and say, well, if I want to say hi to this person or see what's going on with this person. Let me just reach out to them and let's just see what happens. When you just go for it, then, you know, whatever this expectation you had or whatever you're telling yourself doesn't always mean that that's going to be what really happens. So someone wants to apologize here. It could be both of you or it could be your person or it could be you, my viewer. But I'm feeling like both of you, I, I honestly feel for this pile, it's been like a lot of mirroring. And I just feel like it's like you both have had unequal give and take. You both, it's like you both have had the same issues, but I just feel like it's just been at different times. You both haven't been going through the same thing at the same time. I feel like you both want to apologize to each other. I feel like you both want to take some type of accountability for the things that's been happening within this connection or the things that didn't, that weren't said, or, you know, maybe again, it's been tension in the other realms and you haven't been able to really sort these things out or it could be in the physical realm, whatever applies to you. So my friends think you're sexy. I feel like this is for you, my viewer. Your person's friends think that you are sexy. Secret relationship. So someone could have had a secret relationship. Maybe it was you or your person or maybe both of you. Okay. Um, again, with this Mary, it could be both of you. Okay, they had a secret relationship or someone was hiding a relationship. Someone didn't tell someone that maybe they were still in a relationship or they had an ex that they were still sleeping with or still seeing. I'm feeling that energy for someone. It could be not necessarily a secret relationship, but someone was still seeing an ex or having sex with an ex and they didn't tell the other person. Um, this is for you, my viewer, or maybe this is maybe this is you. Someone has to save pictures and messages. So this is meaning that someone has, they look at the pictures. I feel like you both are looking at each other's pictures, but messages are saved. Family drama and secrets. So family drama has been an issue or secrets within the family. That's been an issue as well. It could be drama within the family, custody issues. You or this person or both of you have a child and that has caused some type of some type of custody issue. So that's caused some delays and blockages within this connection, getting those things sorted out. Blackmail and betrayal. I feel like again, I mean it could I could be wrong. You take what applies. I don't feel exactly that there's been betrayal within this connection. If the betrayal is here, it could just be lying. But you know, I don't I don't know. You take what applies. I don't I'm not getting that someone cheated on someone. But again, you take what applies. If that is your case, then apply it. But I'm just also getting that this is like past. Like you both have dealt with betrayal in the past. You both have dealt with the type of, you know, being stabbed in the back or being lied to. You know, someone could have been blackmailed here or someone could be trying to blackmail you or your person. I am getting that as well. But I feel like the, it's a fear of it's a fear of someone, of this person betraying you or this person um, not being honest, lying to you, betraying you, like fears of that that's also being projected on this connection. Okay, let's get your oracles out. Doubt, indecision, and regret. So with this coming out, these are for you. 
there's some type of regret that you're holding on to and it's saying, I know that I cannot change the past. So you're being asked to release any type of regret that you have. You can't change the past. Forgive yourself, forgive whoever did whatever to you and release it because you can't change it. And so regret, that's that, that's that emotional, excuse me. My goodness, my throat wants to lock up. Okay, regret, that's just something that's holding you back from continuing to transform into your best version. So let go of any regret that you're holding on to. Indecision, so you're being asked to use your intuition. Affirm yourself by using your intuition in all aspects of your life and release um, any self-doubt, release the need to know everything, release the need to know exactly what's going to happen next, any kind of control that you have on outcomes, stay present, stay grounded in the moment. Some of you need to make some type of decision and you're being guided to make a decision and you're, I'm hearing you're being pushed and you're being pushed to make the best decision for you. Like you're being shown what is the best decision for you. Confidence is your key to success. The end of a tough cycle approaches and conclusions are within reach. So some of you are ending something and you're being asked to be confident and know that you're moving into a new cycle and a new beginning. You're ending a tough cycle. You're ending, you know, a lot of like lessons that you were learning, a lot of things that you were going through. So remember to release that self-doubt and follow your intuition and conclusions are within reach. So you're concluding something, you're concluding a cycle, something is ending here. And I'm hearing you're going to be celebrating within your new cycle. You're going to be happier, healthier. It's going to be a better beginning, a new beginning for you, and it's well-deserved. So I'm hearing congratulations. So if no one told you that they love you today, pal to I love you. Thank you for being here. You got this. Keep going. I'm proud of you. Please like the video. Please comment below. Let me know if this resonated. Please share the video. Please um, subscribe and join the Capital LOV tribe. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Hi, Pal3. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital LOV tribe. Thank you all so much. I'm so grateful for all of your love and support. I love you all. My name is Nicole. Let's get into it. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So part of the issue here with fears and blockages is you and this person bringing more love into the situation. So for me, this is saying self-love first. <laughs> loving and accepting yourself first and in order to love and accept this person okay um, or each other you both bringing more self-love into the situation for yourself and then by doing that that will allow you both to love each other and bring more love into your connection and this love can be balanced and healthy without it being codependent or feeling addicted, addictive, or it feeling imbalanced, okay? All right, let's get some more, though. What are the fears and blockages in this connection? Pile three. Okay, temperance. Nine of swords. Ten of Cups, Three of Wands, Five of Cups, and Ace of Cups. Okay, so <clears throat> some of you could have been married, or could be married to this person, Ace of Wands. This connection, if you're married to this person, or even if you haven't been married to this person, I feel like there's an energy of there needs to be something like a burst of something new okay uh it could be a fear of a new start a new beginning it could be a fear of like doing something different stepping outside of the box it just 
this connection needs some new energy, so need a new spark of passion, a new beginning with love. Um, more love needs to come into the situation because the more I'm feeling like there's a blockage here with intimacy. There's a blockage here with you and this person being vulnerable with each other. For some of you, this could be a long distance connection that could be blockage. There, that could be a blockage as well. There's like long distance, like um, you and this person don't you live far from each other or something like that. Um, there's also a lot of anxiety here and feeling, um, feeling left out in the cold. Part of the blockage here is some of the anxiety. I feel like um, some of this anxiety has been created by either betrayal or abandonment, or you both have experienced betrayal or abandonment before, or abandonment in childhood, and maybe you both have abandoned each other within this connection, or there's an abandonment energy here that's happened in the past, and that's created anxiety, and that's created this fear of coming close together because someone feels like someone's going to abandon them or someone feels like um that there's not going to be like getting close to each other will end in disaster or it's not going to be successful this connection needs healing and balance okay it's it's been imbalanced in the past and it needs some type of healing and balance. There needs to be a spark of newness. There's also just this energy of regret, but it's also like, um, it's like regret, like I did you wrong or I did things wrong or I wish I had done things differently. Um, you know, I, I wish I could turn things around and do things differently. I wish I could be different or I wish I hadn't made these mistakes. It's kind of like that energy, just like regret and like, I wish I had done things differently. I wish I had told you or, you know, something like that. Please forgive me. Okay. I'm also hearing that there's trust issues here. Okay. Maybe someone cheated or again, like betrayal or something. Let's get some more cards out, but it's some trust issues here. I'm like not sure if I could really trust you. Not sure if, are you going to hurt me, okay? Spiritual maturity, abundance, chivalry, and commitment okay so there's a few different things happening for some of you this connection number one is meant to grow you spiritually okay this connection is a spiritual connection it's meant to help you to grow to help you to go deeper within your soul to unravel your soul on a deeper level and also to um put you on the path of enlightenment, put you on the path of your purpose and your mission, why you are here. It's meant to show you a lot of the different parts of yourself. This connection has the opportunity to be very abundant or has been abundant in the past. I feel like for some of you, you may have obtained a lot of things together or, you know, I'm hearing grew wealth or worked on growing wealth or you were working toward things like that. You may have brought a home together you know, cars and things like that, Did, doing well in the material world. If that has not happened, this connection has the potential to be very abundant. But even if it has happened in the past, this connection could be very abundant again, or it can turn into moving into more abundance. But part of the issue is you both need to love yourselves more and you both need to, um, there's an issue of honesty, trust, and sharing. Like I'm hearing afraid to share secrets, afraid to tell you who I really am, afraid to show you who I really am. Um, also afraid to be vulnerable with each other. For some of you, there could be a commitment issue here. And this commitment issue I feel is coming from being able to trust that this person won't abandon you or will not leave you or will be different this time. That's what I'm hearing. Also like an issue, a commitment issue with um, 
you or your person may be afraid of commitment or afraid of taking things to the next step. Maybe you are with this person, but someone wants to go to the next level, maybe marriage, or maybe there needs to be a recommitment here. Maybe you are married and there needs to be some type of recommitment, but there's a fear around that. And I'm hearing the part of the fear is because of the lessons and things that you and this person have gone through in the past, really recognizing that everything was for growth. It was for spiritual growth, emotional growth, personal growth. It's not a situation where there were, yeah, things happen. You know, things could have been different. Things could have been handled differently. But really, those things happen in order to make you grow, in order to make to stretch you, in order to push you into becoming a better person and to push you into more spiritual alignment and maturity. And so this needs to be discussed and it needs like if it needs to be talked about and it needs to be talked about in an honest way where both of you feel safe. I feel like this energy that maybe you both don't feel safe with each other anymore or you both are afraid to be vulnerable with each other. Like you can be vulnerable, but when it starts to get to be a little, like when you start to talk, it gets maybe heated or maybe like arguments begin and it starts to go the wrong way, okay? Um, I'm also hearing that the chivalry here is kind of like this energy of someone didn't feel like someone was chivalrous or didn't feel appreciated or didn't feel protected or um, didn't feel prioritized. I'm hearing like someone didn't feel like they were a priority. Someone felt like they were always number two or number three or number four. Um, I'm hearing you didn't appreciate what you had. You didn't treat me like a priority. You treated me like an option or you treated me like you know, it's whatever or disposable, I'm hearing, okay? So that's, I feel like both of you have your own feelings and thoughts on things and how things went, but maybe these things just haven't been able to really be expressed in a safe way where you both can have clarity and both can see things from each other's perspective and vantage point because you both have your own perspective and you both interpret things in your own way and that's a part of the spiritual growth and maturity that's been happening within this connection so things need to like you both bringing the love into the situation and like that understanding the understanding of like yes this hurt or yes this was this way but let me tell you why I felt this way let me tell you what happen and also with the expression of how you feel about things like allowing this other person to safely express how they feel without judgment without judging them or feeling like you know they're playing the victim or feeling like they don't really want to take accountability or feeling like they're full of bs you know really allowing them holding that space to really because you both need it you both need each other to hold that space to really be vulnerable with each other Let's get some more. Okay, success. Grief. Blame. And change. Okay, so I feel like within this connection, there's been a lot of change. Okay, there's been a lot of transformation. Again, this connection is a transformative connection with a spiritual maturity. You're meant to grow and really transform both of you within this connection. So there could have been a lot of changes that happened within this connection. Um, it could have been like fast moving changes, like moving, moving to a new home or a new area, a baby, you know, things like that. Family changes, death with this grief here. Someone could have died. You know, there's been a lot that's happened and it could have been a lot of things that happened really quickly and it could have been very overwhelming for the connection. It could have been overwhelming for you as individuals, but then for the connection, the connection could have suffered from a lot of this change, a lot of the movement, a lot of the transformation that was happening. And I feel like as these things were happening, you both were not putting that energy and love into the connection to continue to nurture the connection and continue to 
keep the connection balanced. It's kind of like this energy of things continue to happen, but taking the time to continue to nurture and love your connection, like went to the backside. It was neglected. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't on the forefront or it wasn't at the top of the priority list. Other things took precedence over the connection because in connections, you know, you have to give it that energy. You have to give it the time. You have to put that love and that energy into it to continue to help it to grow. You have to water it like, like it's a flower, right? So I feel that I kind of feel that energy here that that's been a blockage. And once things were neglected within this connection, it kind of became a runaway train. It's like, once a couple of things started to get neglected, more things, it just piled up. And I'm kind of just getting this energy that both of you, it felt like a runaway train and it felt like, how do you call this back in? How do you bring this back in? It may have gotten too out of control to really pull it back. So this connection has the potential to be successful. I feel like, again, if you are broken up from this person or in a separation or things have, you know, just been tough with this person, you've seen success before. You've seen what success looks like being together and it has the potential, but part of the obstacle here is blame. You both may be blaming each other or you both may have placed blame on each other for why the connection did not work or it's not working or it's having a hard time. So you're being asked to accept responsibility, accept accountability, take accountability for your actions. Start with you. What is it that you could have done better? What is it that you need to work on? Having that own level of self-responsibility and self-accountability is something that you both need to do in order to move things forward within this connection. Okay, and understand that change is always going to be the constant. So you have to find a way to nurture your connection through the transformation and the change. It's always going to be change. But how do you continue to move forward with each other in a healthy way? And that's about, again, loving yourselves individually more and accepting yourselves and bringing more of that love and nurturance to this connection. This connection needs to be nurtured like it's a baby. Continue to love and nurture each other. Okay, a time to give rather than to take. A fiery climax approaches. Nothing is yet, nothing is yet set in stone. And a win-win outcome is forecast. So this is saying here that, you know, nothing is set in stone here. So if you and this person are separated or going through things right now, there's a possibility that you can reconnect and reunite and reconcile. So if this is something that you want, you have to put that energy in to healing yourself, taking accountability for yourself, and then being able to heal with this person. But it's saying that there's been an unequal level, part of the obstacles here, an unequal level of give and take within this connection. So someone has been giving more, someone has been taking more, or you both have been doing the same thing just at different times. I feel like both of you are passionate. Both of you, you know, get passionate, you get fiery, you get upset. Um, maybe things get explosive. And I feel like that's that communication breakdown. That's that you both not creating a safe space to communicate. Um, you both having issues with allowing each other to safely express your needs, express what you need from each other. Maybe you've never done that. Maybe you've never told this person exactly what you need. You know, maybe you never told this person what you need to feel good about yourself or feel good in this connection or to feel safe and protected. Maybe you never express the wants. What is it you desire? Um, it's just a communication issue here, communication issues. And I feel like when you both try to communicate, it gets explosive or it gets really fiery and passionate. Maybe you really don't get anywhere. And so... That's a huge obstacle here, being able to communicate safely 
and being able to communicate your needs and be vulnerable and honest with that and do it in a way where you both are seen and heard and you both feel safely seen and heard. With this win-win forecast, this is saying, again, this connection has the potential to be successful and abundant and a win-win for both of you. Each set of cards, we've seen a positive card, abundance, success, win-win outcome. So this is saying, again, there's hope for reconciliation. There's hope for another chance. There's hope for you and this person to be, you know, win together, to have a, a beautiful life and to be successful. Let's get some more cards because nothing is set in stone. So things are changing. Things are constantly transforming and changing. Okay. Would you accept? Rebel. Permit. And I want you back. Okay. So this is what was coming up before where... You know, someone could be asking to reconcile or both of you are going to want to really look at reconciliation, reconciling, coming back together. OK, I'm getting here. The part of the issue is this. This is what I was saying. You both with the communication issues here. I feel like you both have your own viewpoint. You both have your own way of looking at the world and way of interpreting things and your own perspectives. And you both can be passionate. You both can be very, um, you know, firm in the things that you believe and want to say. So you both have to open it up so you can safely be vulnerable with each other and safely express what you need to say without it getting out of control. Because when things start getting explosive and out of control, this is where you really don't get anywhere. And both of you shut down. Both of you don't respond well to that type of energy. For some of you, I feel like both of you need to apologize. It could be, if it's not both of you, it's one or the other. But with this, would you accept and I want you back? This is two cards here. I'm kind of feeling like both of you may need to apologize. But you take what resonates. But I'm seeing here sleepless nights missing you. So you both miss each other or one of you. I feel like you both do. Honestly, I feel like, you know, this is a mirroring energy. I feel like this is both of you. You both miss each other. Um, there's been sleepless nights. There's some regret here. And again, these things need to be talked about. These things need to be communicated in a healthy way. I feel like both of you have been taking that time to be introspective, to really look at yourselves, look at the whole situation, and look at how things can go differently. I think you both have taken the time to reflect on the positive and the negatives and changing things and taking accountability and like, if you had done this differently, could it have been this way? And, you know, really looking at yourselves in that way. Um, for some of you, you know, this person may be communicating with you that they want to reconcile. They may be apologizing to you or something like that. And so, you know, again, I just feel like if you both get the chance to have a safe, healthy communication, that will change a lot within this connection. All right, let's get some more messages here. What else are the fears and obstacles? Right, let's get one more. Okay. Karmic hell for me. I'm sorry, karmic hell, pray for me. Last time we made love, work on yourself, trust and let go. My life is like a movie. It's my fault, I apologize. My friends and family like you. Okay. And social media games, a date with destiny. Devoted to you. You are my best friend. So there's a lot of love here. We see that, um, you know, you both feel like each other are best friends or your best friends, or you both 
you know, miss a friendship here. And this is what I mean about bringing the love into the situation back to this card again, nurturing the connection, nurturing the relationship. This is the kind of connection with any connection, but in order to make things work, this is what I was saying, like there's always going to be change. So this connection has to move with the change. It has to transform. I feel like you both in a way neglected this connection and neglected each other in the process. And I'm not saying that you meant to do that. I just feel like it was like a lot of life changes and things just went by the wayside. It happens, you know, and this connection, it needs that nurturance. It needs that love. It needs that time, that energy. And so if you and this person come back together, you have to talk about the things that you both would do to nurture the connection, to keep things on track. I mean, life is always going to change. Life will always be busy. But taking that time and energy to put the energy into this connection so things don't go off the rails. So someone is dealing with some type of karmic hell here. And that could be, that could have created a lot of issues. Someone needed to, needed to deal with a lot of karmic cycles or they're dealing with karma. They're going through a lot of challenges right now and it's causing a lot of obstacles. Um, I feel like both of you are working on yourselves or, you know, at least one of you is working on yourselves. But I do feel like both of you are working on yourselves and you're being guided, work on yourself, trust and let go. So if you want to be with this person, continue to work on yourself, trust, put this intention that you and this person will come back together and let it go. So the friends and family like you. So friends and family could have been a factor in this, but it could have been a positive fact. Friends and family could have been a positive factor within this connection. Uh, it's my fault. I apologize. So I feel like this is, again, you both or one of you wanting to apologize, wanting to say you're sorry, wanting to change things. My life is like a movie. So someone's life here is like a movie. And again, that could have caused some, you know, tension in this connection. I feel like, again, there's a lot of change here. A lot of things happen quickly. They move fast. So that could have been, you know, some of the issues within this connection as well. Maybe someone's life is a bit more hectic than the other person's life. Okay, so there's been some social media games. So you and this person, both of you or one of you have been playing games on social media, posting things on social media that may not be exactly the truth, but you want someone to get upset or you're trying to make someone angry or some type of subliminal shots here. Um, both of you, I feel like, are reminiscing on the last time you were together, when you made love together or at least one of you is reminiscing about that. A date with destiny. This is saying that I feel like you and this person will have a date or have some type of conversation or get together to talk and get together to really have a conversation with each other to move things forward. And I feel like you both feel like you are each other's best friend. So the date with destiny, that's like a synchronistic energy. That's a synchronistic energy. And maybe this will be the opportunity to apologize, to apologize and say, I want you back or to see where things can go, you know, something like that here. Okay. So let's get your, let's get your healing oracles out. Okay. We have growth, peace, and adversity. So this is great. This is saying that you're growing, you're learning, you're expanding, you are gaining more knowledge, gaining more wisdom, and you're growing. You're growing on your path and your purpose. You're finding more peace. You're feeling more um, love, self-love for yourself and acceptance. You're releasing the things that no longer serve you. You're releasing people and energies that no longer serve you, and you are receiving and embracing more peace, balance, and harmony in your life, adversity. And if you're not there, this is what you're moving into. So I just saw 44, that's confirmation. So if you're not at this place yet, this is where you're going. This is what you're moving into. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So you're facing adversity. You're realizing that you're growing through your challenges. You're growing through the hard times. These things are teaching you. They're stretching you. 
They're pushing you to become your best self. They're pushing you to grow. They're pushing you to look at yourself on a deeper level. Be bold and make the first move. Adjustments are required. Emotions are running high. So this is, again, this is like that passion energy that I was talking about before. I feel like, you know, you're dealing with a lot of different challenges, but remain level-headed and strong and balanced in this energy. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Remember that you are in control of yourself. So master yourself and master your emotions. Don't let your emotions get the best of you and make you do things that you would not normally do. Stay balanced and level-headed through this. Okay, so adjustments are required. So like I was saying, if you are not at this place of peace yet, I am a being of love and release all negative energy. This is what you're moving into and you're being guided to make the adjustments to get there. So continue to release low level frequencies, negative energies, low level vibrations, people around you who are sucking up your life force, energy vampires, anything that disrupts your peace, anything that gets in the way of your peace, anything that creates disharmony, continue to release and move away from those energies. Um, move away from people that you feel like you feel drained after hanging out with them. Like they make you tired. They're not uplifting you. They're draining your battery. They're pulling you down. They're talking. They're judgmental. They're talking a lot of low vibrational talk. You know, it's not always easy, but when you start to make those adjustments and you see the difference, you feel like you don't want to go back to that. You feel a sense of harmony and joy and peace that is priceless. You know, no one, it's, it's not, it's, it, you find it to be worth it that, it's not worth me hanging around these people that don't serve me when I can be by myself and start attracting new energy and better vibrations into my energy field and be bold and make the first move. So this is a part of you and your growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. Maybe it's to contact this person. Maybe it's to reach out to this person. Maybe it's be bold and make the first move with your healing, with you continuing to grow, continuing to, um, you know, find more love for yourself, find your needs. What are your needs? What do you need from yourself right now? How can you nurture yourself? It's going to be different for everyone, but continue to be bold and make that first move and take that leap. Take that leap for healing, for growth, for change. So if no one told you that they love you today, Pile 3, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm proud of you. Keep going. Keep doing the work. You are amazing. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Join the Capital LOVE tribe. Share the video. Comment below. Let me know how this resonated. If you don't want to say how this resonated, just drop me a heart and I would appreciate it. Thanks and I'll see you next time.